In this video, I would like to explain the difference between the recno function and the rowno function in ClickSense. Recno, which stands for record number, returns the row number of the original data source table, whereas rowno, which stands for row number, returns the row number of the loaded table, not counting rows that were excluded by a WHERE clause. What that means, I would like to show in one example. Say we have a table MyZoo in our database. The table just lists some animals, here a monkey, a giraffe and elephant. Now in ClickSense we would like to load this table, however exclude the giraffe, resulting in this loaded table um, just listing the monkey and the elephant. The function recno will then return 1 for the monkey and 3 for the elephant, as these were the original row numbers in the data source table. On the other hand, row no will return 1 for monkey and 2 for elephant, as these are the row numbers in the loaded table. I would like to show another example in the data load editor. Say we have this sample data set here, my bar, which just lists some beverages. Now let's load all the columns of this table. And additionally, let's also um, load the rec number as well as the row number. And then we use a resident um, statement in order to load data from my bar. Now we would like to exclude all rows with beverage beer. So we say where uh, beverage is unequal beer. Let's also drop the original table my bar and load the data. Let's see what we get. Let's open the uh, data model viewer. Okay, we get a new table uh, with these entries and we see uh, we excluded beer successfully. Let's have a look at Recno. It counts one, two, three, and then there's a gap between three and seven because these are the uh, row numbers of um, beer in the original table. Uh, and on the other hand, row number is just counting one to seven as these are the row numbers of the resulting table.